Welcome back to this episode about how we can include documents inside our PHP code. In this section of the course, we focused on creating functions. A good thing that you should do with functions is to put them inside a separate file. So let's say that you've got a login system and you have a file with functions that includes user-related stuff. It is good to put them inside a separate file and call the function. In this episode, I would like to start with the basics. And a good thing that you can do with include and require is to put your header, navigation, and footer in a different file. So let's open the website of Forbes. Let me make it bigger. As you can see, they have, I think, more than 100 pages on their website. And even when you go to the footer as well. And if you take a good look, you can see that the header and footer are the same on every single page. Let me scroll down. So, well, not on this one. But if I use another one, you can see that the small footer is on every other single page. Let's go to best business credit cards. Let's scroll down. And you can see that the same footer appears. This can be done with include and require. It is also pretty good for error detection because if you copy paste your header on every single file and you make a mistake somewhere and you want to change it, you need to change it on every single file. Just like functions, it's better to show you how this works, so let's start working on separating our documents. Let me remove the let me close off the Forbes website and inside my functions, I want to create a new file called index.php. Let's write doc, hit tab, and create opening. I won't be focusing on styling in this video. I just want to show you the basics of separating files. So let's create a navigation inside header tags with a nav. I have an unordered list, and I have a list item. Inside my list item, I want to create a link. And the first link needs to be home. And let's also add inside our href index.php. Let me make this smaller. All right. So let's copy it two more times and paste it two more times, sorry. Let's change the second index to about and the third one to contact. We want our content to be outside of the header. So let's go below our header closing tag. Let's create an h1 tag and let's write down welcome. We also need to create a footer and in our footer, let's create a paragraph tag and write down, this is my footer. Let's save it, refresh it, and you can see that all the elements are placed inside our document. In order to start separating our documents, we need to know what we want to put in separate files. It won't be necessary right now to put our body, so our h1 tag, in a different file, because the body of the page changes on every single page. But our head tags, our header tag, and our footer tag will be included on every single page that we want to create. So we need to put these parts inside a separate file. So let's start with the top of our document, our head tag, and our HTML opening tag. Let's copy it. And the way I like to work is to separate the pages that people see with the things that I want to include. So therefore, in my functions folder, I want to create a new folder and I want to call it includes. And inside our includes, I want to create a new file named head.php, add another one, which is our header.php, and I also want to add my footer.php. So let's close off header and footer, and I want to focus on the head.php. So what we just copied, let's paste it right here. And let's do the same thing for our header. Well, we can add our body tag as well in the head. And let's copy our header. Let's go to our header.php. Let's paste it right here. And let's do the same thing for our footer. And you also need to copy your closing body and closing HTML tag as well. So let's place this inside our footer. Let's save it, close it. Let's save our header and close it as well, and our head as well. Right now, if we want to save our file, refresh it, you can see that only welcome is printed out. What we need to do is to actually link to our files that we created in our includes. 
This can be done with the includes construct, and this is something that you haven't heard before. So let's go on top of our page in our index, and let's create opening and closing PHP tags. Inside our opening and closing PHP tags, we want to write down the keyword include, followed by single quotes, or double quotes, it really doesn't matter, and a semicolon. Inside the single quotes, we need to write down the path of the document that we want to include. And in our case, we have put our head.php inside our includes folder, backslash, and the name of the file is head.php. We also want to include our header at the top, so let's copy paste it, and let's change head, while the second one, to header. Let's save it. Refresh the browser, and you can see that the head and header is added inside our page. Well, you cannot see if our head is added, so let's inspect our page. Let's open our head, and you can see that it's added. Let me make this smaller again. Let's do the same thing for our footer. Let's create opening and closing PHP tags. Let's write down include, single quote, semicolon, and our footer.php is also in our includes folder, backslash footer.php. Save it, refresh it, and you can see that my footer is added. What we want to do next is to create the about and the include page. So in our functions, let's create a new file, and let's call it about.php, and the, and the other one, excuse me, is contact.php. Let's go to our index page. Let's copy paste everything that's in our index in our about, and let's change welcome to about. Let's do the same thing for contact. Save it, save our about as well. And we need to change our header. Second one is about, and the third one is contact. So let's save it, refresh it, and now you can see that we can navigate through our website. So let's click on contact, about, home, contact again. And we defined our header just once in a separate file. So what we want to do now is to create a new file in the includes folder. And let's name it functions.php. So we want to create functions in our functions.php and call them in our index.php. I recommend you to pay good attention right now because so what we want to do is to go to our head.php and we want to include our functions file right here and not on every other single page. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to load our functions whenever the website is opened. And since we're calling our head on every single page, we want to add our functions right here. So let's write down include and we want to go to our includes folder and we want to call our functions file. Let's save it and let's close it. Right now we're back in our functions and let's create a function with the name introduction. So create PHP opening and closing tags, write down function followed by the function name, let's say introduction for now, it really doesn't matter. And let's echo out hello user. So let's go to our index page and let's remove welcome. And in order to call our function, remember we need to be in PHP opening and closing tags. So let's create them and let's call our function. And the name was introduction. Let's save it. Refresh the browser and go back to our home page. And you can see that our function, the hello user echo is printed out because we're calling our head file right here, which includes the function.php file. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.